named our kids. We did something very different. I would like this to catch on. Years ago, when my wife was pregnant the first time, we knew we had a daughter on the way. We could not pick out a name for her. But then my wife started having those pregnancy cravings. That's when I got the idea, why don't we name the baby based on those cravings, right? It will always remind us of the pregnancy. She thought I was an idiot. It's actually brilliant because here's how it worked. First pregnancy, she was craving sweet pies and cakes that I'd bring home from the store. So we named our oldest daughter Sarah Lee. <laughs> See, it makes sense. You've got to be Sarah. No, it's brilliant. Second pregnancy, for whatever reason, this time she was craving fast food cheeseburgers. I was constantly doing cheeseburger runs. So that time we named our second daughter. Anybody can you guess? Wendy. Wendy. Thank you. Yes, you got it. Wendy. I, I get nervous because last night the guy was like, five guys. No! No! <laughs> yeah, your middle name will be in and out. She'll be very popular in school. Right? <laughs> Sorry, I know it knows more PG-13. Right? <laughs> anyway, at that point, we've done heavy kids. Two was all we played on. However, she got pregnant a third time, and ooh, she was not happy about getting pregnant. But fortunately, she still had cravings during that pregnancy. That's how we ended up with daughter number three, little Percocet. Uh, <laughs> That's some good stuff. He knows. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Meet me down at the dumpster. We'll talk. All right. Uh, now, at that point, we were definitely done having kids. Three was more than we could handle. We thought we took all the precautions to avoid having any more. But apparently, God looked down from the heavens upon my wife and I, and he said, <laughs> Bless you. Because, oh, bless us, he did with our fourth and final child, our son, Jose Cuervo. Uh, <laughs> On the bright side, he slept really good as a baby. Um, <laughs> all right, one last thing. This is a true story I like to leave you folks with. This happened many years ago before we had our son, just the three daughters. This is mainly to do with our, uh, our third daughter, Lil Percocet. Remember her from earlier? <laughs> that is her stage name, by the way, just so you know. Real name's Vicky, short for Vicodin. Um, <laughs> good stuff, too. Anyway, she was only three, maybe four years old when this happened. Uh, at that time, we'd get together with our girls once a week for family movie night. We'd always let one of our girls pick the movie. It was her first time to pick. Huge deal for her. She spent like an hour digging through our movies, made her decision, came to tell me. She comes up, um, I want us to watch the Jalapeno movie. No such movie, hun. Pick something else. No, the Jalapeno movie is my favorite. It's the one with the baby lion, and he runs away to the jungle when his daddy dies. And he makes friends with a pig guy and a squirrel guy. That sounds like a Lion King, honey. Yeah! Okay, well, watch the Lion King. Why in the world are you calling it the Jalapeno movie? She looks at me like I'm the idiot. She goes, duh, at the very thought, it's a song. It goes, Jalapeno! <laughs> Folks, my name is Paul Jensen. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Enjoy the rest of your show! Paul Jensen, everybody, right there!